All right guys, so today we're doing an update on the Mr. Cool Mini Split. So as you guys know, I bought a Mini Split. It's been not quite a year ago I bought it. And we installed it in the shop. Now we still haven't done a whole lot on the shop as far as doing anything with it. We're gonna take you outside and we're gonna show you kind of what to look for and what not to do. All right guys, so here's the whole unit itself. This is 18,000 BTU. When I bought this, they were about 1100 bucks. Now they're about $1,700. Um, this unit is mounted on the side of the building. You see the bracketry on it. I don't know if I would do that again. You do get some vibrations on the building. Uh, I didn't want it on the, on the ground getting grass and bugs and everything else in it. So this unit, this winter, ran really good with the heat pump. It got down to negative five several nights and stayed below 20 degrees. It would heat the shop no problem. Right, so this shop is 24 by 48 with the 16 and a half foot ceiling, which is pretty big. Like I said before, I think I told you 18,000, actually 24,000 BTU. So they make these up to 36,000 BTU. And this is, is a single head. You can see here we have the installation kit. It goes on here. It's not all done up yet. Uh, Brother-in-law still hasn't come over and, and done everything up for us, cut the hoses and all that stuff. But everything runs totally fine. What we'll have when it gets really cold outside, and mainly a lot of it is right when the dew point hits, you know, like right in the evening time, right after it gets dark, everything frosts, and it'll kind of be making a little more noise than usual. And the back of it, all the fins in the back will be totally frozen up. We'll see if you can find a picture to insert. And this thing has auto defrost. So once it gets frozen up, you can see it melt everything off the coil, kick back on and start running again. Okay, so there's one thing I want to tell you about this unit. So once you get above 18,000 BTU, this is a 230 volt unit. Anything smaller is 110 volt. You could essentially plug that in a socket, right? So even this 230 volt only requires a 20 amp breaker. That tells you right there how little power it takes. When we did this, we need to set all, we need to put the covers on all this stuff. It hasn't been done yet, I know. Um, so we ran this off, was it? 312 and you could actually run that off you know even smaller they give you as little as 14 gauge on it but since we're running it fairly far from the breaker 20 some feet we did that um super efficient unit like i said would i mount it on the wall probably not again some of you won't have any choice but to have to do that also if you mount it on the ground whenever it uh ices you're gonna have ice all on the bottom of it and even when it got that cold for that long, there was kind of some ice building up underneath the unit after it defrosts. Uh, but other than that, it's been really good. Okay, so we're back inside here. Here's the main head. And how this works, you essentially have a remote control and this thing controls the head, right? You can also control it from your phone through an app. You flip the head open and it has a screen that you can clean out like every other AC and take it out, you can spray it out with the hose and the sink, wipe it off with the microfiber, whatever you want to do. And that's the filter, so it's not blowing out um, dust and stuff in your shop and in your house. So they've made a few advancements with this real quick. I want to tell you about it. They've made these up to five different heads. So it's one outside unit and five different heads. And now they have them where it essentially has a brain that controls everything. So if it sees one area of your house is getting warmer it'll adjust that that room or that area and it can cycle off and on all five heads that's pretty cool it does cost more money so this unit i think i told you before was about 1100 bucks now it's gone up to about 1700 um, ordinarily in a house you don't need one this big the 12,000 btu is probably more like what you need uh, especially doing like a dual zone more than one unit and they're about 790 for one of those. So I'll put below a link in the description to some of these Mr. Cool units off Amazon. Another tip of it is if you buy one from Amazon, you also get the extended warranty. It's a three or three and a half years for like another 40 or 50 bucks. So we've kept our box up on the loft in the shop. If this thing takes a crap, we can send it right back. No questions asked. How efficient is it? That's the biggest question in this video. Um, so we ran this thing last summer in Missouri where it gets in the summer around hundred degrees 
and it'll stay there for weeks on end. And we ran it this winter when, like I said, it was negative five, negative 10, windy, you know, all this. This shop, we don't have every bit of insulation. And buddy, if you wanna show them around just a little bit, 95% of it's up. There's still a few spots back in the corners. There's a spot right behind me here on the wall that's not insulated. And to start off with, we didn't have the felt strips in the bay doors, but now we do. At negative five degrees and windy, it would keep it about 74 in here, like not much of a problem at all. You can feel, since it's all concrete, you can feel the cold radiating off the concrete, but it was keeping up. At that cold of temperatures, if you walk by a door, you can feel the cold coming through the door, right? Extreme cold. Um, as far as summertime, 100 degrees, we had very little insulation in here and it would keep it at 68 degrees, 67 degrees, no problem at all. Uh, electric bill wise, we noticed very little change on it since it is a heat pump, it's not a coil heater. And the AC is like a 22 sear. So it's super, super efficient. I would say it could run more efficient than one window AC unit. Uh, the heater wise, if you have one infrared heater, or like one fireplace heater, this will run cheaper than that heater will. It was a little hard to tell because we still had fireplace heater running in the house. That's not heater cooled by this. Um, but with everything up, I think the highest bill we have is a over 200 bucks. And that's with the house, this big shop and everything else running on it. Uh, a lot of stuff, right? And keeping it at 74. Most people don't keep it at 74. Most people keep their house at 68 or whatever. But, you know, kind of like that. I want to be able to come out here and work on stuff in short sleeves, and not be freezing your butt off. And that's why we did that. Uh, other than that, the other nice thing about it, you don't have to worry about sucking smells in from outside. With the window AC, you know, our system window is sucking outside air in. Here in Missouri, we have skunks. We have the neighbors to be burning trash or something. It'll suck all the smell right in your house. This isn't like that. Since there's actually no, there's no duct work going outside. It's only hoses, uh, Freon hose and the drain hose. Uh, there's no way to pull air from the inside. The last thing is, the dehumidifier part of this. It's a great dehumidifier. So in the summertime, it's gonna keep everything getting moldy. You just gotta make 100% sure whenever you hook it up and you run the drain hose out, that does not get pinched or kinked. If it does, it's going to be putting moisture all in your place. You don't want that. That's pretty much it, guys. Like I said, we'll put links in the description. It's not a sponsored video at all. I just find stuff for a good price like I would do for myself. Put it there for you guys. That's it. So have a good day, guys. We'll see you again very soon.